Okay, rolling camera action. Okay, I've checked the gate, everything looks all right. Just off Manly today in the water. Have a little bit of a lie down in the water. It's quite nice. Uh, I tried to do a few failed attempts at a live stream selfie setting, but I haven't done this that much, so I'm not quite sure how it all works. Not a bad day today. Yeah, um, we had Bitcoin go up to uh, $10,000. Uh, back down to about 9400 at the moment and looks like it's gonna keep going. Got my eye on a few altcoins, one being Coti, C-O-T-I. Hopefully it might go well, but gee, it went down 12%, but uh, that doesn't mean anything in crypto. It can go up 50% in the next hour, so you just don't know. That's what happened with one of the others I was holding, and I got rid of it, and it went up 50%. But anyway, it's happened to me before, even higher percentages. But anyway, it's a beautiful day out here at Manly absolutely wonderful. I'll do my little spin. Oh geez, I don't want to fall over. I haven't got a waterproof casing on this camera so you have a better sound. I was watching Tim K do a film just recently on his uh, YouTube channel. He's based in the Philippines and he did a similar uh, footage in the water and I thought, oh why, why, don't, I, why don't I do that? I'm living on the water. So yeah, it's a great day. I've got Sean inside. He's studying for his uh, uh, teaching degree, uh, doing all of it at home uh, because of the corona situation, so uh, he's doing well, he's doing real well. So he's doing four subjects, all from home, and yeah, it's all going well, and the good thing is now and again I can have a look at what he's doing and just sort of relive my uni days. Yeah, it was different. When I studied, I did international relations and uh, absolutely loved it. Never got a job using the degree or the master's degree, <laughs> so I did a lot of work, but uh, yeah, just didn't try hard enough to get a job in that field, really. I don't know why, but probably sometimes when you get a bit older, you don't want to be starting from scratch, might be half the problem. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I uh, went and bought a heap of Nike shoes just before the uh, corona outbreak, so I've got about six grand worth of Nike shoes sitting in the lounge room. <laughs> Yeah, so they might go up on eBay soon, as soon as this thing settles down a bit. Um, I like to uh, look around and buy the collector's Nikes. Yeah, there's certain uh, limited releases you can buy. And they're very hard to get a hold of sometimes because uh, it's very competitive. Uh, they even have bots that buy the shoes up. So you might get a release of a shoe that might be released in America a week ago. Uh, it'll be a Nike Jordan one with a fancy tick on the side or whatever um, but the big thing is it's a limited edition and if you get hold of one of those it can be worth $200 at auction you've only paid the one price it's the matter of actually securing the sale and then within two minutes it's worth two and a half grand so I didn't quite believe this until I saw it myself if you go on Facebook garage sales You'll see some up there, some are about seven grand. So it's just another economy that's out there. Um, I should be calling them kicks. <laughs> but I like to experiment with different things. So that was one thing I experimented with that uh, I haven't actually tried too hard with it because of the corona. As soon as something's made in China, that turns people off a bit. <laughs> Even though I've had them in the country for a couple of months. Yeah, so apart from that, been doing a few renos. I put a new shower in, went to Bunnings. I always love a bargain at Bunnings, as people that know me will know. <laughs> and uh, what I've got a shower screen corner one. It was 850 and someone had had it on a special order. And I saw it in the bargain bin for 250 in pieces. And I said, listen, there might be some pieces missing. I'll give you 150. They accepted that. So I did that, I, took, I put that in the ute and took it home. And then I thought, oh well, I need the base. And I looked up on the Bunnings site and found out there was two bases at Cannon Hill. They were usually 580 each. And I went down to Cannon Hill, they had two left on special orders that hadn't been picked up. Uh, one was in pristine condition, the other had a box that looked like it had water damage. So I called them over and said, listen, I'll give you, you know, $100 less 
for this one because of the box. I don't know if it's really got everything in it. And they accepted that. And so I got the base $100 cheaper. When I went to install, I soon realized there was a grate missing out of my little bargain for the base. So I had to send for Mel to Melbourne and get the uh, triangular custom made grate and that cost me $70 so that sort of uh, blew that bargain out of the window but I still got the screen cheap put it all in myself so it's kept me busy uh, been waiting for a tile cutter because I bought some longer tiles and as fate has it the Corona has set all these courier companies into a tailspin now, I've even heard they've got Uber drivers delivering some of the um, some of the uh, parcels but I don't know if anyone else has had any dramas, but boy, have I had some. Um, yeah, I had oh, a few thousand dollars worth of Nike shoes delivered on my doorstep when I wasn't home, even though I specifically gave instructions for them to be either put at a pickup place or, you know, don't, don't leave you know, five grand's worth of Nike shoes on your doorstep. Anyway, this idiot did, and luckily I got them, but I did notice someone had put their hand in to see what was in there, but... So the rats had gone in, but they hadn't taken anything. Um, yeah, so the latest one, I just bought a tile cutter because I've got these longer tiles. And yeah, I thought that was an easy chore. Just bought it on eBay. It was only $100, but I've got another tile cutter, but it's not long enough. So I've got this one with a laser beam and everything else, and it's only $100. Uh, then I get a message from eBay saying it's been delivered. And I went, no, it hasn't. And I was home the day before with Sean and the door was open and no one come to the door, nothing happened. But I got a message from eBay to say the guy had come to the door, couldn't locate us and he'd left a card. Well, not only did he not come to the door, his card was invisible because it couldn't be found. And since then, Fastway Curious, oh man, I don't know what's going on there. They keep telling you all, all these things that they're going to promise you they're going to urgently deliver it and do everything else and nah it's been going on for weeks now i've rung up i've emailed them I, i'm just going to go and buy another toll cutter it's just not worth waiting so if you want the fast way don't use fast way they're the slow way use oh i'm quite happy with australia post even though they're a bit dodgy sometimes but it's mainly because the curious are I think they're under the pump. I don't think they get paid that much. And yeah, they just come to your door. You know what it's like. They don't knock. They just throw the parcel down or they just throw the card in and they run for their lives. They don't want to be talking. They don't want to uh, be held up. I don't think it's more to do with Corona. I think it's more to do with um, wanting to get their deliveries over and done with so they can have their life back, which I can't blame them. And yeah, so that's about all that's been going on in my life lately. It's been very quiet, um, which is always good. Yeah, we all have those patches where we're awfully busy, working. Oh, that's another thing, working. Yeah, everyone's sort of learned how to have a bit of time off. Even if it's forcibly done, it's quite a nice thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to see people find, finding their creative side. I've noticed uh, Christine McIndoe, one of my friends from school, she's really excelling with her artwork and she's selling it online and it's just doing really well and she's super talented. So that's, that's a really good story. I've seen other people too doing different things. Social media channels that are blowing up because everyone's bored and they want something to watch. So there's always something to do and this uh, social media um, content creator environment is probably a great way to go if um, you're thinking of a career change because uh, there's plenty to do <laughs> there's plenty to do you can go and talk about crypto you can do van life you can do you know um, economics you can teach you can even do the some of the uh, lessons for the teachers online or you can submit your assignments and everyone can watch them which is a bit of a worry. There'll be a few copycats out there, I bet. But anyway, uh, I think I've had enough of the water. I'm not used to the sun of late. I've been trying to be a good boy and do the stay at home business. So I hope everyone's going to enjoy this video. 
and see a little piece of Manly from the water's view. Okay, take care and stay awesome.